Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. The other night, uh, while trying to figure out what to do with a few uh, free hours of time, uh, I had the decision to make to either catch up on a bunch of TV shows or watch something new. Movies I haven't seen, you know, with Netflix and Amazon and Hulu all out there. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, which usually means I end up flipping through all those choices all night long and never actually watching anything. But this time, this time I settled on re-watching uh, a movie I thoroughly enjoyed when it first came out. The uh, name of the movie is Stir of Echoes, and it's got Kevin Bacon in it, uh, playing a guy who suddenly develops psychic abilities. Uh, and it's a very down-to-earth story for something with such an out-there premise. Uh, it's set in Chicago. Uh, Kevin Bacon's character is distinctly working class. He, he's not someone that is into all this weird stuff. Uh, he's working hard as a lineman trying to, uh, you know, keep his wife and, and his son and himself. Uh, fed and housed, and it's not going exceptionally well. Uh, and he's just found out that his wife is pregnant again. This is a guy who's under a lot of stress to begin with. And you throw this whole new thing in where he's suddenly seeing ghosts and hearing voices and, and all sorts of other stuff, and, and it just is played so well. Kevin Bacon does a fantastic job in this movie of combining that down-to-earth aspect of the character with all of this weird stuff that's suddenly going on and how is he going to deal with it. The, uh, mo the story itself plays out uh, pretty sensibly. It it's nothing uh, exceptionally outlandish. The twists are, are there. Uh, they make sense. Uh, it's based on a uh, novel by Richard Matheson, uh, who's one of the absolute masters of this sort of um, sensible horror. Uh, this down-to-earth, very grounded, uh, very visceral at times, a very human uh, terror and, and unease that comes in with stuff. Uh, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with Matheson's stuff, go and look it up. He's got one of the absolute best short stories ever called Born of Man and Woman, uh, which is just a masterpiece of utterly disturbing stuff uh, put together in just a few pages. Uh, he's done a bunch of stuff for The Twilight Zone back in the day. Uh, I Am Legend is another one of his stories. Uh, so he's, he's a genuine master of this stuff. Uh, if you like Stephen King's stuff, Stephen King and Richard Matheson, they have a few things in common with the groundedness of some of their, uh, some of their things. Uh, if you like Clive Barker, Richard Matheson has a little bit of uh, an influence on Barker's work uh, in some ways, if, if, you, uh, if you're familiar with both of them. Uh, and Stir of Echoes, uh, the movie, I haven't read the book, but the movie uh, carries this uh, standard Matheson stuff through very, very well. Uh, the cinematography in it is also very well done. Uh, the, the hallucinations or psychic premonitions uh, are done in ways that you're genuinely not sure sometimes uh, if it is just a hallucination, something brought on by all this stress, or if it is actually psychic stuff going on. Uh, the plot that uh, plays out is one of, uh, you know, people just being horrible people and paying for it. So the moral component in this is also very strong. The bad people get punished, and the good people, while they don't necessarily get rewarded, they get to continue on with their lives with the knowledge that they have done something good. Uh, and that, that, I think, is an important thing that we don't see a lot 
in a lot of horror films. Uh, we see people survive the slasher, we see people beat the bad guy, we see everyone end up dead, but we don't always get the sense that they've actually accomplished something, that they can move on with their lives in a more together way than they were before, because now they know that they are capable of something more. And that's something that comes across really clearly with the way Kevin's Bacon, Kevin Bacon's character is portrayed, is that this is a guy who always wanted to be more than he is. And reality again and again and again has stomped him down and told him, no, you're not going to be any better than you are now, no matter how hard you work. And then this massive event comes into his life where he now has the opportunity to do something that no one else can do. And he does it. He suffers a lot to do it. Uh, it puts a tremendous strain on his marriage and family and everything. Uh, but he does it, and he comes away stronger for it. And that's something I find really refreshing to see, and that's something that's always struck me about this movie, is that for a horror film, it's really, really uplifting and positive in the long run. Uh, and I like to see stuff like that. I think it's a great... Uh, bit of counterbalance to what we normally get in horror films was just killing, 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 evil, evil, fancy effects, lots of interesting deaths, and the movie's over. It doesn't really make that much of a difference anywhere. Not so in this movie. In this movie, you can see how the characters are going to continue on, how their lives have been changed, uh, not, and not just their lives, but the lives of numerous people around them. Uh, people who, in the case of this movie, were keeping some really dark secrets for a, uh, for a while. And the, the people who were most adamant about holding on to those dark secrets are the ones that suffer the most in the movie. So there's definitely that moral allegory going on, and it's an intelligent film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It came out in 1999, so... I'm not terribly worried about spoilers or anything like that. It's a well-known film. Uh, it's popular enough that it got a sequel, uh, which I'll talk about in the next video. But definitely check out Stir of Echoes. It's currently on uh, Netflix, so you can get it there. Uh, highly recommend adding it to your collection if you're a psychological horror fan or even a supernatural horror fan. Uh, definitely something good. If you're a Kevin Bacon fan, required watching. His performance in this is just perfect. If you have seen the movie, let me know down in the comments so we can talk about it. I want to talk about this with people. I want to hear what your take on the movie is. Uh, if you like the stuff I say, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you are uh, subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button and uh, get notified when these come out. It's still going every day. And if you know anyone else who's interested in this sort of stuff, share this with them so we can get them involved in the conversation too. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.